Hey everybody, this is Patricia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do what I'm calling my birthday beauty haul. And uh, I want to first start off and apologize. I am still sick. I still have this crud. My head still just, it aches. My throat hurts. Uh, I've been sneezing a lot. I hope I don't sneeze in this video. I really do because my sneezes aren't pretty. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, let me get going. This beauty haul is some products I ordered here recently uh, from Sephora, from Ulta, and a couple things from Macy's. And I ordered them either because I'm, well, I ordered them all because I wanted them. But um, I put in a Sephora haul to get my birthday gift. I didn't get my birthday gift at Ulta. I got something that was on sale that I wanted to get while it was on sale. Um, I'll just go into our local Ulta and pick up my birthday present sometime this month from them. And then uh, I saw I saw on Facebook where something had been restocked at Macy's. And so I'm like, yes, I'm going to buy it. And while I was in there, I found something else. So what I purchased from Macy's is Mac. And uh, I haven't purchased any Mac products since the 90s. Can you believe that? Man, I haven't bought anything Mac since the 90s. And I apologize for my hair. I I tell you, I got dressed today and put makeup on just to try to make me feel better. So I'm just trying to feel better. So ignore my hair. I didn't really, I didn't do anything to it. So now let's get into it. What I saw that had restocked was the Selena line. Uh, Selena, uh, this uh, Latino singer. I love Selena. I've got... A couple of her CDs. Um, I have just, I have loved Selena forever. I don't know how long. And um, so when I saw that Mac made this line of cosmetics for Selena, I really wanted um, at least a lipstick. And this is purely not because I need it. It's just because it's Selena. Truthfully, I'm just being truthfully. I just wanted a lipstick. And I missed out when it launched because I didn't hear about it. I wasn't in the loop. This time I got it and the color I got was Dreaming of You. And this is it right here. Isn't that pretty? The uh, packaging is purple and it says Selena across here. And these smell good. I think they smell different than the old, pack, the old MAC lipstick. I'm not sure, but I'm going to, I'm going to put a swatch on. Oh, uh, yeah, isn't that beautiful? It's not like a real bright red. It's more like a brick red. And I hope these lights are okay. You can kind of see colors. It is so gloomy outside. I'm sorry. It is snowing. It's been snowing about an hour now, and everything's covered white except the street. The street's wet. Everything else is white, so it's just gloomy outside. I apologize. I'm going to have to break down and buy a ring light. I know it, but I'm putting it off as long as possible because... There's so many other things I, I want to do with my money this this year. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. The next thing I bought, and I ordered this before New Year's, but I saw it on when I was looking at the Selena products, and it's the Mariah Carey lipstick by MAC. So yeah, I'm not a huge Mariah Carey fan, except for her Christmas song. It's my favorite Christmas song. Um, but just... As a performer herself, I'm not a huge Mariah Carey fan. And I didn't see all that went on. I was in bed sick. I, I didn't see what happened on TV. But look at this. Can you see that? That's another reason I bought it. I'm, a, I'm addicted to anything shiny. Look at that. And this color is Bit of Bubbly. And it's a nude. And can you see that? It's got a butterfly. That's her thing, isn't it? She likes butterflies. And then it says Mariah. But yeah, it has that same smell. I like that smell. I love a good nude lipstick. Let's see if you can even see this. I don't think you're gonna see this on my hand. You are not. You Look, it's the same color that my skin is. I don't know where to put it that you might see it. Gracious. No, it's the same color as my skin. Can you, you can kind of see that, can't you? You can kind of see that. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. I love a really good nude lipstick, so. 
And yeah, I bought it because look at that. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. This is one I know um, Cherise, uh, Brown Eyed Girl Cherise, was telling me take your Mac. You know, you've used that Mac containers, I think, when you get up five or six or something, you take them in and trade them for lipstick. I don't think I'd get rid of that. I don't know what I would do if I ran out. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Anyway, that's my MAC order. And let me grab a tissue because I don't want to get this lipstick on me, which I probably will. Wow. I think that's going to last. Look at how stained my arm is. Yep. Okay. Next, let's do Sephora. I didn't buy a lot from Sephora. I said earlier... I really don't need a lot of things, and I am just I'm ready to kind of put a halt to purchasing because um, I've got a lot going on this year, a lot of trips I want to take, and you know, they cost money, and I'm not working. You know, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and so, yeah, I need, to, I need to be good. Now, I only ordered, I think, I only ordered two items, and I can remember the price of them. Um, one thing I ordered, and I've seen these, and they've just, they've interest me. It's these Invisibobble, the Traceless, Traceless Hair Ring. Let's open these up. And I got the Your Golden ones. It says Time to Shine, and how do I get in here? Here we go. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Is that pretty cool? All right, let me set the box down. Let's just pull my hair back. Let's just try this out. Oh. You just do it one time or two times? I'm going two times. Okay. I don't know if you can see. I'll have to look in the video. Because <laughs> I can't see. Alright. Alright there. That's I like these. They feel good. They feel nice. These were eight dollars for three. Are they worth eight dollars for three? Let's get real here. Let's just really think about that. Um, I don't know. I do like how it feels, and it's not tugging on my hair. And if it doesn't break my hair, I I think it may be maybe worth eight dollars. I might tell you later my my thoughts on that. I'm not sure yet. Get rid of that. And I'm sorry, I'm acting all weird. I just don't feel good. I'm sorry, people. This next thing I bought is something I keep going back and forth about purchasing. And I thought, you know what? Just buy it. Just, just buy it. So I did. I bought myself an original beauty blender, and I got the one that was made uh, specifically for um, Sephora. And it's in this. Um, does it have a color? I know it, is it, I can't remember. It, I know it's made just for them, this color. Yeah, I think our streets are starting to get slick. But I, I just, I haven't tried a beauty blender. And I want to see what all the hype is about. Because I have, this beauty blender is a Shop Miss A dollar beauty blender. And I have a Sephora Beauty Blender. And I have another Shop Miss A. And I have a Tarte Beauty Blender. Which I tell you right now, I don't like this. I don't like this Tarte Beauty Blender. I don't like it at all. So, I wanted to try the real deal. It's soft. It's smaller. These are dry. These aren't wet. It's smaller than the... Uh, Miss A, this is much denser. This is softer. So I, I'm excited to try this and see. Because I, I hear great things about it. So I just broke down and bought it. So I paid $20 for the Beauty Blender. $8 for the hair things. And that's all I purchased. Now for my birthday gift, it's a Tarte birthday gift. It's the 12-hour blush in Parte. P-A-A-A-R-T-Y. 
and Tartus Cream Mitt, uh, Matte Lip Paint and Birthday Suit. So this was, I don't want to mess up my nails. I polished my nails earlier today too. Throw that packaging away. So let's just see here. Oh, that is very pretty. That is a nice shade. I like that. That's a beautiful shade. There's no mirror. I don't think it. That's like a neutral on me. I'm putting that where that lipstick was. I don't think that's too good of an idea. Let's put it right here. Can you see that? Yeah. There we go. That's nice. I like that. And then the Tartus lip paint. I think I have the Tartus lip paint. This is a nice neutral for me. I've probably got some things similar to that. It's pretty shade. So there we go. Next, I turned in 100 points and went ahead and got this Too Faced Mascara Melt Off Cleansing Oil. I just wanted to try it. Um, I don't really wear uh, waterproof mascara that much. But I just wanted to give it a shot. I don't think I'm going to open it. I'm going to um, set that aside for now. And then, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, my samples, which um, I knew this one was going to be like this. This is the Yves Saint Laurent, and it's a sample of their, um, like, uh, hi uh, concealer, highlighter. And I knew that's what it was going to look like. And then I <coughs> asked for samples I got two different samples from Lancome of their uh, foundation, the Tint Adol Ultra. I know I'm saying that wrong because I've started studying French. I know Tint Adol, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. But I'm kind of upset. It's just so you can match your color. It's not really a sample. It's a little swatch. It's not a sample at all. I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider this a sample personally. So I'm a, little, I'm a little upset. I got like the light shades and then the medium. So yeah, I could pick out which one I like, but I can't really sample it. So I was pretty disappointed with these. So if you're all, if they're still on there and you're picking out samples, unless you just want a little swatch to see what color, I wouldn't do that one. So that one kind of disappointed me. Next, let me move these things out of my way so I can have room. It's snowing like crazy outside. All right, this is Ulta and this is a big box, my big Ulta box. And I'll show you with the first thing so I can get this out of my way. This is the main reason I made my purchase is this big shampoo was $19.99. The main reason I purchased from Ulta, my hair shedding, just open. I'm about out of the blonde shampoo I'm using, which is a L'Oreal, and I've been searching. I searched Ulta, I searched Ulta's website, I searched our local CVS and our local Walgreens, uh, this, the ones closest to my house, and no, none of them had the shampoo I'm currently using. So I was a little, I'm like, oh, did they, because I got it from Ulta, you know, I'm like, did they discontinue it or, or what? I don't know. Ooh, yes, nice. So um, on their site, I saw that they had the big bottles, and this is the Blonde Sexy Hair Sulfate-Free Bright Blonde Shampoo. So I know it's the purple, it's purple. I just opened the cap. I don't, I doubt you can see that. Let's see. There we go. You can see that. That's purple. Purple shampoo. So, yay. I'm happy. That's what I wanted. So, this is the main reason I made a purchase with Ulta, was to get this shampoo right here. It says it has um, chamomile, honey, and quinoa. So, yeah. And it's heavy. How big is this thing? 33.8 fluid ounces. That's big. Okay, so I thought, well, while I'm there and I'm getting my shampoo, 
I need, see my, my uh, gray right here? It's about time to uh, touch up. And I've never shown you, I don't think, this is the hair color I use. I always use uh, L'Oreal and um, this is the, uh, the blonde one. I'll just say that. I'm not going to try to pr pronounce it. I always buy the lightest ash color. So this is LB01 Extra Light Ash Blonde. And the reason I buy the ash one is um, it keeps the brass brassiness from showing up, which I've learned uh, through trial and error over the years. So this is the one I use, and I just put it on my roots and just out a little bit. I don't put it on all my hair. I, I never dye all my hair anymore. I just do the roots, and so this is the one I use. And so if you, I know some of you have been asking me. So this is it. That's the uh, hair color I use. Next, I purchased some more wipes. These were on sale. Oh, I guess I could tell you these things. Okay, I told you the shampoo was $19.99. The um, hair color was $9.99. I usually get it when it's on sale, but I went ahead and purchased it um, from Ulta this time. These uh, wipes, I want to try them, and this is a 45 count. So, usually I get like the 25 count. This is 45 count. And I wanted to try this brand. They were on sale for $8.49. So that's why I got these. And I'll let you know how they work. Oh, I hope I don't sneeze. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I don't sneeze pretty. And then I got these. These are from Ulta. And I'm going to tell you right now. I put on um, the uh, NYX lingerie lip color today. And I don't like how it's feeling on my lips. It's feeling kind of weird. Mm, I might have to declutter that one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm scatterbrained. My brain's on medication for cold. This is the um, Ulta 3 Mini Sponges Super Blenders. See that? These were $5.99. And I wanted some smaller um, blend, the um, beauty blenders. The small, actual beauty blender is $18. And I'm like, I saw the, that in person at, all, at Sephora. I remember looking at it thinking, I can't pay $18 for that little beauty blender. So, when I saw these on Ulta for $5.99 for three, I'm like, yeah, I can do that. I can get it open. So, let me put you down. I'm going to throw that packaging away. So here we go. We, and they, they're pretty soft. I got a little pink one. A little orangey one. And a gray one. So. Which of, this is my smallest beauty blender. And I don't remember who made Swissco. It needs cleaned. I know I just used it. So. Anyhow, these are the little ones, and I'm excited to try these out. So, I'm going to put those in there. Like I said, those were $5.99. I got more things I purchased. Um, how did you get stuck? Here we go. I got, from J Cat Beauty, I got a eyeliner, or are they both lip liners? They're both lip liners. I got lip liners. They're waterproof. I got T-Rose. This is T-Rose. And where is it? There's nothing in there. Does it whirl up? There. Do you roll up? I only paid a dollar for these. And I don't think this one's going to work. Nope. Yes, sir. Huh. Yeah. Oh, this is not worth a dollar. I can't even get that out. Let's see. This one was um, 
amaranth pink. Now you're there. Yeah, I know why these were a dollar. Oh, yeah. Not happy. Don't buy these people. Don't buy them. Yeah. These are, I threw two dollars away. see what I can do. I'll end up taking those back. I know it's just a couple bucks, but don't, don't buy them. And next, I bought some nail polish. Again, on sale. Now, what I have on my fingers right now, I got this one out and did it. This is by Wim. This was $5, and this is in Marshmallow Mousse. And that's the color. It's white. Just plain, plain white. Now, these other two are Ulta colors, and they were on sale for 99 cents. So, I got Parlez-vous Francais, which is a really nice nude shade. And this one is Vintage Violet, which is a really pretty shade. That's really pretty. So I got those. And then, last, my samples. And for my samples, I haven't even opened this. I got, they sent me this before, my last order, which is okay. It's the OGX or, um, what do people call it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, sulfate-free, which I'm glad. It's the Coconut Curls Shampoo and Conditioner. So, yeah, I like that. And they also sent me, maybe because I bought so much many hair things. They sent me Living Proof Timeless Conditioner. I've never tried their conditioner. So I'm excited to try that. So that is everything I got. Um, in this haul, they will probably won't be another haul for a while until I actually, well, you don't know with me, it might be um, something new come out and I just absolutely have to have it. But I'm going to be more mindful in my spending this year. Because, you know, do I want to have a good time with my friends in Nashville or do I want a makeup palette? Well, i got lots of makeup, so I want to have a good time in Nashville. You know, do I want to have a good time at Disney World or do I want a new foundation? Yeah, you know. Um, so that's kind of how I'm looking at it. I think I'm going to, this year, spend more time... Um, being more careful with my spending. Um, I do want to try more drugstore brands because I tell you that Rimmel really, really surprised me. I want to try more products like that. So you will be seeing me um, haul and show more drugstore brands, I believe this year. Um, but who knows, who knows what I'll end up doing. You never know with me. But thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I, I love to get comments and questions. And uh, if there's something you want to ask me that you don't want to uh, put in a comment below, feel free to email me. My email address is down below. And also, if you want, my post office box address is down below. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.